from the heart of our community. This is Highlights, sponsored by Highland Hospital, a hospital with the heart in the heart of West Virginia, working in partnership to bring you the community information that affects your daily life. Hello and welcome to Highlights. My name is Jim Strawn, host of the television program. Highlights is brought to you through a collaboration between Highland Hospital, Kanawha County Schools TV, and Sudden Link Cable. And if you're a regular viewer of the show, and I certainly hope that you are, you know how much we love to focus on those grassroots organizations, those charitable nonprofit groups that are just doing outstanding work to make our state of West Virginia and our Kanawha Valley and our city of Charleston a better place to live and to learn and to work and to play. And on today's program, we're going to highlight a couple of different organizations. First, we're going to be talking with a good friend of mine from the Wellness Council of West Virginia about the upcoming 27th Annual Mid-Atlantic uh, Worksite Wellness Conference coming up in uh, North Central West Virginia at Canaan Valley. And then that's coming up in September. And there's other uh, events and uh, activities that are going on in our community. And before the show, I had a chance to uh, tape our date book. So we'll open up the date book and take a look at some other activities that are going on in our community. And then the, uh, the remainder of the show, we're going to be talking with some ladies from the Mountaineer at Montessori School about their Sunday fun day that they have coming up on September 29th on the campus of the University of Charleston. Uh, but first, I turn to my right and I welcome into the program. I didn't realize it was the first time. Erin LaFon, how are you, Erin? I'm wonderful. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yes, my I, first time I here. I thought you were up here last year, but you're telling me this is your first this time? This is my first time. I think another one of our staff attended yeah. here last year we, and spoke with you about the conference. Yeah, so we're we glad do, to be back. Yeah, we do this annually, and, and this is the 27th year for the, we call it the Mid Atlantic. Conference, conference on worksite wellness, but mm -hmm. it's brought to you by the Wellness Council of West Virginia, and you're the executive director of I the am. Wellness Council of West Virginia. Talk to the audience a little bit about, well, first of all, how long have you been in that role? Not very, not real, real long uh, yet. Almost a year. Almost a year. Just this about will be your second conference, right? It will be my second conference. Last year, I became executive director, I think a week and a half before the conference. Mm -hmm. So it was ready, scheduled, everything was taken care of, and I just showed up, mm -hmm. which was great. How this cool year. is that? <laughs> this, this, this year it's a lot different. Yeah. It's, uh, I've been there from the beginning, so we've been working hard, have a lot of great things planned and scheduled. Uh, a lot of people coming from across the state to mm -hmm. speak and mm -hmm. from some people from outside the state are coming to present. Let's talk to the folks out there about what the Wellness Council is all about if they're saying, what the heck, I haven't heard of right. that Wellness Council. What is it all about? Anna? And a lot of people haven't heard of the Wellness Council mm -hmm. because we basically work with businesses across the state of West Virginia and a few outside the state of West Virginia mm -hmm. uh, and help them to develop and implement and sustain wellness programs for their employees. That's basically the mission of the that's Wellness the Council, basic, right? yeah. That's the basic mission of the, of the Wellness Council. We do a few other things, mm -hmm. working in communities, helping them with clean indoor air mm -hmm. or walking trails, things of that nature, but our main focus is to work with our businesses, help them to have a healthier workforce, um, you know, reduce um, sick days, absenteeism, uh, all those great things. So uh, we have a great core group of businesses that we've worked with for a long time, uh, and we're always ready to help others. I know we're an independent council. We are. And I say we because I'm very proudly on the board of directors for the Wellness Council of and West Virginia. And have been for a long time. I have been for, for many, many, <laughs> many, many years. Yeah. And uh, I love wellness, of course, and I work in the healthcare arena, yes. uh, albeit mental health, but I'm also you know, really That's into wellness. That's an important wellness. component as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. So we're independent. Uh, we're membership driven mostly, right? Yes, so we how are. Many, about how many members do we have now in our West Virginia uh, We have close county. to 100 companies that we work with on a regular basis. We're statewide. Statewide organization. And then, like I said, we have a few companies who have branches outside of mm -hmm. the state of West Virginia that mm -hmm. we also work with. We have some in Pennsylvania, uh, a few in Ohio that we work with on a regular basis So, as uh, well. you know, of those 100 or so members that we have in the council, mm -hmm. how many employees do we touch? Uh, you're talking over 40,000. Over 40,000 employees yeah. throughout the state in the tri-state mm -hmm. area. Yeah, we call it, we call it, we call this now the Mid-Atlantic Conference on Worksite Wellness because we're not just West Virginia. We go That's into correct. Ohio a little bit, That's maybe correct. into PA a little bit, because yeah. they don't have councils. They don't have councils there, yeah. so we encourage folks from outside of West Virginia to come listen, participate, and be a part of, the, of the, the conference and our organization. We don't say if you're not a West Virginia company, you can't be a member of the council. We really want to reach out and, and help as many folks as we can. I know you've only been there about a year. Have you studied up a little bit about the history and where we, where we originally came from and to where we are now? Can you t talk to well, us a little think, bit about that? You know, the council's been around since 
87. Okay. Uh, a long time. Done a lot of great things. We've tried to stay true to our mission from the beginning, which yeah. is working with businesses and helping them. Yeah. And like I said, over the years, we've received grant funding from the state of yeah. West Virginia to help with tobacco cessation because that's a huge problem here mm -hmm. in our state. Yeah, let's talk about the, we, 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 get, we get membership dues in, but then we, we also get some grants in. That, that's where the, that's, what, that's our funding, right? That's correct. The membership dues that, and the, a uh -huh. couple of grants that we get. Correct, correct. So, and, and the grants, you know, really have a specific work plan, a specific focus. Mm -hmm. And that right now has been tobacco cessation and clean indoor air. Have we seen, I know we have, have we, have have. we seen an impact on, on what our work is meaning in the work place? Yes, and, and, I, and you know, we work with a lot of businesses not only to provide cessation, but we also help them write tobacco policies. Mm -hmm. We've seen over the years, you know, first businesses say, okay, you can't smoke in the building, and then that you can't smoke on our grounds. Well, now they're also adding tobacco, which mm -hmm. includes spit tobacco, mm -hmm. and that's a big thing for a lot of businesses to now be completely free of smoke and spit tobacco on their campus, in their building anywhere on their premises. So we've helped a lot with businesses develop those policies and help them implement them in the best way possible and also help their employees provide support through cessation so that while they're at work, they're able to not smoke and not use tobacco and not affect their daily work. I know, especially the last four or five years, I don't know if it's been four years or five years, but with the uh, Kanawha Charleston Health Department going clean air, yes. indoor, all establishments all the time 24 7 that's right and the first couple of years was a maybe a, a, li a little rough but now it seems to be smooth sailing and you work it does. closely with the health department to help these companies that that yes. need this policy and most need this definitely extra. we sit on a lot of committees there and and really help and collaborate w with those folks to see you know how best we can help and what the best avenues are to go when we try to implement these kind of things so on September the 25th through the S September 27th we have the 27th annual worksite wellness we conference. Do. It's at Canaan Valley. Uh, you can see on the screen there that it's, it's going to be up there. You can see some of our sponsors. Let's talk a little bit about uh, who, should, who should attend this and, and, and why should they attend? Well, the, I think the people that should attend it are wellness coordinators, if you have a wellness coordinator at, at your business, mm -hmm. or if you have a wellness committee. Anyone from that committee should be there. Mm -hmm. uh, eight people from HR. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some CEOs, some you know VPs. Um, that, that attend. If you're a nurse, you can come and get CEU credits. So, so we do offer CEUs at the conference, We do offer right? CEU credits. So you can check that, those kind of things out on our website as well. But anybody that has anything to do with wellness at your business or is interested in learning about how to have a wellness committee or a wellness plan at their work site should come because we really try to provide things for everyone across the board, not just the seasoned wellness coordinators, but for someone who's just starting out or just trying to get involved with mm -hmm. wellness at work. This is a great place for them to come and learn. It's been interesting for me to see as you get older and you get wiser and you see, you know, we're bringing wellness into the workplace, and yes. which is a business place, and then to get the CFOs and the CEOs to buying into how important a good wellness program is, you know, they're always looking at the bottom, bottom, line. bottom line. And, and uh, so the return on investment, I mean, there's been uh, enough studies done to where right. wellness programs can actually pay for themselves and there's nothing better than a happy employee Most and a definitely. well employee getting their work done, right? Most definitely. And, and you know, you'll, you'll hear different statistics, but you hear for every dollar you put into wellness, you get somewhere between three and six dollars back on your mm -hmm. investment. And I think that's phenomenal, mm -hmm. especially in this day and age. So, you know, mm -hmm. we hear a lot of those kind of numbers. And wellness can mean different things to different people. Mm -hmm. It's not just do you have a walking group, but mm -hmm. it's what kind of health insurance are you mm -hmm. providing? Are you providing things that are helping prevent mm -hmm. illness, mm -hmm. not just trying to combat something that you've already, you know, been diagnosed with? So we have a lot of things that we can offer folks, a lot of different programs that we offer to uh, businesses across the state um, to help them get started and to keep things going and throughout the year. The companies and businesses that take it to heart and they apply to the Wellness Council for various awards, yes. uh, a bronze, a silver, a gold, a platinum yes. well workplace. And I know being at Highland Hospital, we have a gold well workplace. Yeah. We got it a couple of years ago. I know the work that was involved in that. It's not just like you said, right. having a, a, a club at noon that walks, right. there's a lot of evaluation, a lot of planning, a lot of things that go into that. And Most you teach definitely. companies how to have that 
Yes, uh, from from the beginning of it to all the way through. How, how do we get? What are the basic things we need to get started? And that's one of the do things. A wellness program? That's one of the things that we do at the conference on Friday the twenty seventh. We have our awards luncheon. Are we you do. at liberty to talk about some of the folks that are getting the award? Or well, we're just going to say we can give a number of them away. Let's just say we're, we're giving not, we're giving about ten awards 10 away. Awards away. Um, a couple are specific to individuals for mm -hmm. the great work that they've done here in our state to promote wellness. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say that and give him <coughs> credit. We call it the Caperton Award, right? We do because Gaston. Gaston Caperton, uh, former uh, governor of the state, was very instrumental in helping us get started. He was, and he was. And, and to this day, he's still very much into wellness, and he, he looks is. great. And, and so we have a Caperton Award for do. a senior leader that has really exemplified what the wellness means to their we business. We do, and, and, and that award is, is given every, every year, and that's kind of voted on, and, mm -hmm. and a nominee is, is given, and, and we extend that to a CEO here in our state who we feel like has gone above and beyond in his work site to make sure that his employees. And then we, we also give an award away to like a tobacco champion. We call it the Atkins Award. The Atkins, after, after Bruce, Bruce Atkins. Atkins. Yeah. So we, 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 you know who that's going to be. We don't need to say who it is, but right. we do, that's what we do on Friday at, at, at the at and the then, awards And then luncheon. we recognize companies that mm -hmm. have really done great things, mm -hmm. either through wellness or by making great strides in tobacco free. So sites. I'm assuming like any other conference, we're going to have a, a couple of keynote general sessions and then we, we have are. some breakout sessions. What are some of the speakers and what are some of the topics that people well, can... Well, you're one of those I great get to be speakers. One of them. I'm very you're humble. one yes. of those great speakers I get that to be, we have. I'm presenting at the conference. <laughs> Yay, you're doing a lot of things at the conference. We don't have time to talk about all the things that you're doing. I, I love to do stuff as we all know. I'm a yeah, stuff but, guy. Yeah, but, but we, ha we have a lot of great speakers, a lot of uh, great sessions, things that are going to teach people how to have an award-winning work site. Mm -hmm. Um, we're going to have speakers who are going to come and talk about what they've done in their wellness programs, what have been things that have been successful and what things haven't been, mm -hmm. and try to help mold folks and what they're going to do. We'll have people come and talk about diabetes. We're going to have people come and talk about how to get men more involved mm -hmm. in wellness. That's one thing that we hear. A lot of the women at these work sites are really involved and love doing wellness, mm -hmm. but the men stand back a little bit. They're not, they're not joiners like the women mm -hmm. seem to be. So we have folks coming to talk about those kind of specific things. So I think it's going to be a great conference. We're Aaron, excited Aaron, about it. Aaron, I, I do too. If you want to get involved or learn more about the conference, you can call the Wellness Council. Their office is in St. Albans. They can be reached, as you can see on the screen, 722-8070. The website as well. You can register for the conference on the website, wcwv.org, www at Wellness Council, West Virginia, WCWV. Uh, dot org. Register now for the conference. It's upcoming. I believe we're the first conference that is going to be held in the newly renovated Canaan Valley Resort. We right? are, and it's yeah. beautiful. I was yeah. there just I a can't few wait weeks ago. It. It's, it's very exciting. We're glad to be there. Aaron, thanks a lot for stopping by thanks. the Highlight Show. The Executive Director of the Wellness Councils of West Virginia, one year under about, I can truly attest and publicly applaud her for doing a great job, and I look forward to the 27th Annual Mid-Atlantic Worksite Wellness Conference. Before the show, I had a chance to tape our date, but besides the conference, there's a lot of other things going on in our community for the rest of September and as we head into October and as we open up our date book here's a look at some other community events that are going on just outside the, your office and just outside your home here in the community. Just about to the end of September, I hope you had a great kickoff to the new school year. Just as a friendly reminder, Highland Hospital is taking calls regarding uh, your son or daughter's uh, academics or behavior in school. Give us a call at the hospital, 926-1600, or if you just need maybe an evaluation or some outpatient service, give our process strategies a call, 348 one four three six now as always in our ongoing effort to fulfill our mission of being a valued leader in the healthcare arena Highland Hospital is committed to and we certainly do enjoy being involved within the community our date book for the rest of September and as we head into a, a very busy October is just that quite busy let's begin with this this weekend this Friday on September the 20th time for the annual Putnam County Rotary golf tournament, big fundraiser for the Rotary of Putnam County. I love to support those folks, the Rotary Clubs, any civic club that we can support, we certainly do. My good buddy Don Borles from Calvin Borles, uh, give him a call if you'd like to put a, a team in or if you'd like to play, if you'd like to do a sponsorship, give Don a call at 
1-800-242-2020 that'll get you in touch with Don Borles this Friday, September 20th, the annual Putnam Rotary Golf Tournament. They're actually going to have it at Little Creek Country Club in South Charleston and Highland Hospital is very proud to support the Putnam Rotary. Also this weekend, from a few weeks uh, ago on the show, we actually had Rose on talking about Shaka Khan. This is the second annual Shaka Khan. This is a little sci-fi and, and horror convention for all you aficionados out there that like this uh, kind of stuff. It's going to be held at the Haunted Barn in the uh, on the east end of Charleston, West Virginia. Uh, Mike Winland and Rose did a great job putting this thing together. You can give Mike or Rose a call up at their um, their place of business. They run Winland uh, Photography. Uh, the number is 345-3674. 345-3674. Or you can go to the website. But they have a Facebook page as well. Uh, Shaka Khan, the second annual Shaka Khan, and uh, a lot of zombies and a lot of fun things. It is family friendly uh, for all ages, so give them a call and stop by uh, uh, the Haunted Barn on the East End this weekend, September 20th through the 22nd. Uh, the 22nd on the Sunday, Sunday evening at the Clay Center, we talked about it a little bit on this date book. Highland's proud to support all the Clay Center events. The Beach Boys are coming. The Beach Boys are coming to the Clay Center. Give the Clay Center a call at 561-3500 for ticket information. 561-3500. Highland's proud to support anything going on at the Clay Center. On September the 24th, in the evening at the University um, of Charleston Stadium at Lady Field. It is time for the annual, I forget how many years this is now, been going on for quite a, uh, quite a long time. It is the Majorette and Band Festival to be held at Lady Field. Uh, $7 for advanced tickets. Just call your high school and there's still tickets available at the door for $8. It is the annual Majorette and Band Festival for Kanawha County Schools. We hope to see you down there on September the 24th. Uh, September 25th, through the 27th, Wednesday through Friday at Canaan Valley. Highland's going to be a part of this, and we're talking about it on today's show. It's the 27th Annual Mid-Atlantic uh, Conference for Worksite Wellness, brought to you by the folks from the Wellness Council of West Virginia. So we're learning more about that today. If you'd like to learn more about the uh, conference, maybe a, a registrant or an exhibit or be a sponsor, it's at Canaan Valley, September 25th through the 27th. Give the folks at the Wellness Council of West Virginia a call. They can be reached at 722-8070, 722-8070. That'll get you in touch with the Wellness Conference of West Virginia. They can also be reached on their website, www.wcwb.org. And I think we gave that website out a few times earlier in the show as we talked to Aaron about the upcoming conference. We hope to see you up there. Yours truly is proud to be one of the presenters and also the moderator and kind of the MC for the conference. Wellness, very important in, in today's society and Highland is a proud member of the Wellness Council of West Virginia. On Saturday, September the 28th, Eighth, there's a couple things I'd like to uh, refresh your memory about. A recovery walk at Shawnee Park. This is brought to you by the Partnership uh, of African American Churches. They present this uh, recovery walk 9 o'clock in the morning. It's down in Dumbart, Shawnee Park. Um, give me a call or you can call Wendy Lewis at 768 7688 768 at 7688. And then you can uh, ask for Wendy Lewis uh, to learn more about this recovery walk for, for recovery from addictions. And Highland's proud to support this and have a, an exhibit down there and kind of showcase what we have to offer. This is the first of its kind that they put together. Uh, won't you support the uh, partnership of African American churches and support this recovery walk? If you don't want to uh, do the recovery walk and you want a little more splash of color in your life, there's a really fun thing going on in Charleston. It starts at Magic Island. It's called the Color Vibe 5K. It's brought to you by the uh, Charleston Visitors Bureau and uh, Samantha Carney and those folks did a nice job bringing this in. Uh, give me a call at the office or better yet just call the uh, uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau. They can be reached at 344-5075, 344-5075, 9 o'clock on September 28th down at Magic Island. The Color Vibe 5K, the beneficiary of the Color Vibe 5K this year is uh, one of my favorites. The Special Olympics will be the beneficiary so uh, please support the Special Olympics and support this Color Vibe as a, it's a national uh, color, uh, the Color Vibe is a national run that comes through and they're going to be here in Charleston on September the 28th. 
on Sunday, September the 29th. It's time for a Sunday fun day. It's brought to you by the folks over at the Mountaineer Montessori School, uh, noon to five on the campus of the University of Charleston. Free admission, lots of really fun things to do. Uh, food by Ridgeview Barbecue and Mission Savvy, which is a vegan uh, menu. There's just tons of fun things for children and family members. Again, it's free for everyone to come. It's brought to you by the Mountaineer Montessori School, 340-4253. 340-4253 if you'd like to learn more about Sunday Fun Day brought to you by Mountaineer Montessori. As we head into October, my favorite month of the year, I can't believe it's already here, October 2013. On October the 2nd, we're going to be participating in an event with the West Virginia Child Care Association up at the John 23rd a pastoral center there off a of quarter G. It is a superheroes event. We're going to be honoring folks from various uh, organizations uh, that work day to day with our most valuable asset, our children. If you'd like to learn more about this event, maybe call the West Virginia Child Care Association, 340-3611. 340-3611. Tricia Kingery is the executive director there, and Highland Hospital is proud to be a member of the West Virginia Child Care Association. Uh, call um, Tricia, 340-3611, uh, or you can always just call me, but this event is uh, on October the 2nd, and if you'd like to learn more about it, either call the West Virginia Child Care Association or give me a call. October 2nd through the 6th, that whole week, down in the Boulevard and surrounding venues, it's time for the 8th Annual uh, Rod, Run, and Doo-Wop. Are you automobile aficionados? If you uh, have an antique car or like to learn more about this or just be a part of this, there's, there's dancing, there's music, there's just a lot of things going on with this event fireworks, there's things at Magic Island, there's things down at the, uh, the levee. Um, you can give me a call if you'd like to learn more or just call 1-888-4-DOO-WOP, one 888 -4 for do wop or Charleston WV Car Show .com, Charleston WV Car Show .com. That'll get you in touch with all the things going on when it comes to the eighth annual do wop that's happening in Charleston, West Virginia. October 4th and 5th, it's a Friday and Saturday. We are going to be participating in the West Virginia Psychological Association Conference as we do each and every year. This year it is at the uh, Marriott, Charleston Marriott. Uh, Diane Slaughter does a really super job, great job putting this conference together. She's the executive director of the Psychological Association. You can give her a call if you'd like to learn more about this upcoming conference. She can be reached at 345-5085, uh, excuse me, 345-5805, 345-5805. 5805. That's Diane Slaughter with the West Virginia Psychological Association. And of course, Holland's proud to be a part of that association as well. And we'll be, uh, of course, exhibiting, showcasing what we have to offer at this conference on October 4th and 5th. Give Diane a call if you'd like to learn more. Also on the 4th, we're going to be down in Madison, West Virginia, in Boone County for the annual health fair sponsored by the Boone Memorial Hospital Health Fair. They have about 65 health vendors down there. This is a pretty big health fair down there. Uh, my, 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 my dear friend Carly puts this together, Carly Bell, and uh, she just does a, an outstanding job. 65 vendors, it's well organized. It's from eight o'clock in the morning until one o'clock, eight to one, free admission. Give Carly a call if you'd like to learn more. She can be reached at the hospital there, Boone Memorial Hospital at three, Six nine twelve thirty three six nine one two three zero. Touch base with Carly about the annual Boone Memorial Hospital Health Fair. Highland Hospital, of course, will be there. We're there every year. And then just one more thing. One of my favorite events of the year, and you guys know I have lots of favorites, but on October the 5th, the first Saturday in October, it is time for a fundraiser for the YWCA Sojourner Shelter. It is Guys Night Out. We had the girls' night out in August. Now this is Guys Night Out. We have a chance to come up, up on the hill. I call it up on the hill by McJunkin, and you uh, have some great food. It's under a giant tent, and you watch the Mountaineers take on the Baylor Bears. You can see on your screen the time. Uh, we don't exactly know when the kickoff is, but the event starts two hours before kickoff. Two hours before kickoff, so two hours before the kickoff, and then all during the game. Great food, great drinks, great prizes, auction items. Yours truly will be auctioning off things throughout the, uh, uh, the day, and Highland Hospital is very proud to support this Guys Night Out event, and also we love to support the YWCA Sojourner Shelter. We'll have Margaret Taylor on the show next week to learn more about this event. So as you can see, Highland Hospital is very busy in our community, and we certainly do trust and hope that you folks will get involved with us. 
And there you go, and I say it each and every week, if you can't find anything to do in this community, it truly is your own doggone fault. What a great, insightful conversation we had with Aaron LaFon, the Executive Director of the Wellness Council of West Virginia. And don't forget to give them a call at 722-8070, 722-8070 to learn more about the upcoming 27th Annual Mid-Atlantic Conference on Worksite Wellness. And as I promised at the top of the show, I'm going to be talking with a couple of ladies about the Mountaineer Montessori Sunday Fun Day coming up. I turn to my right. I know Amy Hill. Amy, good to see you. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Thank you. Great. Now, you're a parent uh, of one of the students over there at the, uh, at the school, and you happen to be the chair of the fundraising arm from the board, right? Yes, I am. And then the head of school, Dana Gilliland. How do you do? How about that? How are you? Very good. It's good Very to see well, you. Thank you. Dana, I'm going to start with you. Now, how long have it's you been me. the head of school over there? About two months. I, I, I thought yeah. you were pretty new <laughs> to the community, so I wanted to I introduce you to yes. folks. To the, are you enjoying the South so far? Very much. I love okay. Charleston. Oh, good. Well, uh, we're glad to hear that. And if you hadn't said that, we're going to stop the show and cut <laughs> that and edit that because uh, I love Charleston as well. Now, as the head of school, and you guys are so, the historically, so involved in the community, Mountaineer Montessori, so very, very involved. Very How did this, it's like a school carnival, but it's open to the right. public, this Sunday fun day on September 29th on the campus of University of Charleston. How did yes. that conversation come about with President Welch and that that partnership with them? Ah, well, um, the school, Mountaineer Montessori, has enjoyed a, a, a relationship with the University of Charleston for many years now. We do um, many different collaborative things with them. Um, and we, we share facilities. We um, Their education students work at our school. And they do student teaching there and observations. So it's been a long, long-term, wonderful partnership between the two schools. So Amy, this Sunday fun day, it's September the 29th. I think we have a grant to show some folks up there. Yes. It's free to the community, right? It's Absolutely. free admission. It's Starts free admission. Starts at noon, noon to five. Talk to the audience a little bit about what to expect that day. Well, um, we're going to have many vendors in there. We're going to have art and craft vendors from across the state. We're going to have the Charleston Fire Department will be there with their firehouse. The Kanawha County Sheriff's Department will be there doing fingerprints mm -hmm. for the children. Um, we're going to have Rite Aid will actually be there um, going over the vaccines and the new upcoming vaccines that are available for children. Um, we also have the Clay Center who will be there who will have an interactive area that will be set up for the children and those are all free um, yeah, yeah, to the community. Free, Anybody who admission. comes in, it's free admission. And then you have some fun things to do, some around. inflatables and the, the kids will pay $10 yes. I believe for all day rides. For a bracelet. Like they fun. can jump, jump all day, play all day. Jump all day long. Um, inflatables, face painting, mm -hmm. sand art, all kinds of carnival games. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, like a, it's like a big fancy school carnival, right? It is. But it's it open is. to the community. I yes. love that. And it's free. So we got all these fun vendors and we got all these neat things going on. Right. We also have some entertainment and there's a schedule throughout the day listening and entertainment and enjoy you know enjoy the so what are some of the uh, who are some of the folks who are going to be playing and, and entertaining us well we've got the river city youth ballet and okay. ensemble we have a magician that will be going throughout the crowd john, slicer, john slicer very uh, wonderful magician in our community does a great job yes and i heard uh, bernie de gregorio is going to be playing as well right absolutely very good he will be so it should be a lot of fun. We're just wanting to celebrate the children and celebrate mm -hmm. the community, and we want everybody to come in and enjoy the day with us. Sunday Fun Day, it's uh, September the 29th on the campus of the University of Charleston. It starts at noon. You can call the school if you'd like to learn more about it at 342-7870, 342-7870. Dana, I know I, I, I opened up the segment with you folks are so involved in the community and, and do a lot to help other nonprofit agencies. We're going to kind of launch something that day with Manamil. Talk yes. to the audience a little bit about what that's all about, what the kids are doing with that project. Yes, well, that's a project that some of the children at the school have have begun. They're going to start a, a fundraiser for Manna Meal, which is a group that we've worked with for ma for many years. The students go serve meals there and do um, community service for them on a regular basis. And this at the Sunday Fun Day, they'll be launching a fundraiser for them as well. It's all run by the the students from the school. We got about a minute left. Uh, a, a quick parting shot, Amy, from you. And you want to say anything to the audience about how cool this is going to be and why you shouldn't miss this? Yes, no, we want everybody to come out. There's absolutely no reason to miss it, to come by, check out all the vendors. It's, you'll definitely want to be there. The children will have fun. I think it's something for adults and children of all ages. Yeah, children of all ages, day. right? Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, Dana, thanks a lot for stopping Thank by the you. Highlights program today. Amy, always great to see you. Thank you. you. We hope to see you on September the 29th at, from noon until 5 for the Sunday Fun Day, brought to you by the fine folks at Mountaineer Montessori School. Of course, it will be helping Manor Mill. About 20 vendors will be there. Great entertainment throughout the day. And uh, we just hope that you stop by. Great food. We didn't mention the Ridgeview Barbecue is going to have the food there and Mission Savvy. One more time with the number 342 7870. September 29th, the Sunday Fun Day. Again, ladies, thank you so much. That's all the time we have for on this edition of Highlights. As always, brought to you by Highland Hospital, Canal County Schools TV, and Suddenlink. And we'll see you next time on Highlights. We'll see you on the 29th, and we'll see you next time on our program. Take care now.